got old poems in it. I'm going to read one of hers and one of mine. Right. For some of you who have noticed, I've got one or two tattoos. This one is called Tattoo Cooperative. We, we work... We work... All rock and roll live fun. We work together, my tattooist to me. New images spring forth out of my imagination. They have the means to create something out of nothing. Amazing arty designs forever on my skin. The girls love them and my mother hates them. The way it is. Battle lines. From tarot card designs by Pixie to great war warplanes, spitting death. My Incas do the best. Nothing else will do, no second place here. When my upper body is nearly covered, arms, legs, chest, stomach and back. My legs are next. A flaming comet drawn by her. I had my latest tattoos done by Wes at the Inkpot in Oldham. Only good thing in my mental town. My crazy butterflies on my chest. How it hurt. Vodka and coke, along with man flu, Emily, numbing cream. Hardly helped. Pain for art. Luftwaffe and RAF butterflies. May to September each week, I get a new tattoo. My bakery job pays for my ink. 50 quid a pop. I don't care. I work with Wes and Guinea and they do their art. A unique design is the result. The pain is often like the tip of pure crystal by Hay Artis Barn, all real. What do I do when I run out of space? Grow a third arm. I get a genetic body, allowing more coverage. My quest for artful tattoos is ongoing. Many different artists, many different tattoos, all high quality and each mine to call my own. All real art is born. What do I do in the future? More tattoos, you think? Roof is on my arm. Not my pagan bride, her intimate lover, but no. In our poem, it reads, Flames are tears, tears are flames, till the bitter end. Isn't it amazing how a girl can inspire me so? More art and emotions, what next? Into this space. Right. The next one is by. 